Hello, this is Scott from telecoms.com at 5G World. I'm talking to Graziano from Tim, formerly known as Telecom Italia. So Graziano, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you do at Tim? Okay. Uh, I am responsible from uh, wireless access engineer and the devices uh, and uh, we are currently work uh, strongly on uh, LTE deployment. We start uh, four years ago. In, uh, at the end of uh, 2011 we acquired Spectrum, uh, 10 MHz at 100, uh, uh, 5 MHz at 1800, 5, 15 MHz at 2.6 GHz and we start in 2012 the deployment. And the, uh, by the end of the 2015 we deploy more than 10,000 uh, uh, in OB, and then we reach uh, a very big uh, coverage of population, 93%. And we have, we have a big plan uh, to deploy more than uh, other uh, 10,000 in OB in the next three years. Then if you consider uh, um, 2020 as a date, reference date for 5G, yeah. we, have, we are in the middle uh, of the path because we start uh, four years ago with the LT okay. and we have other five years in which we have to starting uh, transformation toward 5G. We have a plan uh, uh, to introduce uh, narrowband IoT yeah. in order to, uh, next year, in order to move also IoT world, the machine to machine world toward yeah. uh, LT and 5G also in order to stop the grow of machine to machine on 2G that create a big legacy to okay. uh, the layering and the commissioning the, the legacy network and also to refarm the, the legacy spectrum right. that for us is very, okay. very important. And we start also with the Volte in order to move not just uh, data traffic from uh, 3G to 4G but also voice traffic uh, in order to accelerate the commissioning of the legacy data. Right. Then now we are very, very focused uh, on uh, LT. We uh, launched uh, first in Italy last year the three carrier aggregation in November okay. uh, 2015 uh, and we reached 300 megabit per second, but we want to reach this year uh, 500 megabit per second leveraging of uh, band L that we acquired uh, last year the 20 megahertz supplementary downlink uh, and also leveraging on MIMO 4x4 right. and uh, uh, 256 QAM. Then uh, I think that there are many, many things that we uh, can we can do uh, in order to create a smooth path between 4G yeah. and 5G and uh, very important for us to protect our investment uh, and reuse uh, all the investment yeah. that we do in Spectrum uh, at the infrastructure uh, also for 5G. Yeah, so he, so there was, there was a lot of information there and, and it's interesting you're talking about narrowband IoT because um, there are a few sort of potential technologies, that uh, wireless technologies that people are talking about for IoT but, but MB IoT is looking like it might be the sort of front runner. And it's also interesting what you're saying about achieving sort of 500 megabits per second, which is very, yes. very high bandwidth. Is that is that like in the field? Is that real life? Uh, until now, no. But we have planned by the end of this year. Right. Well, that's yes. very good. So it looks like you're uh, you're getting a long way towards 5G already. Yes. Yes. For sure. I think that uh, will be a, a smooth pa evolution path because we have to to leverage all the investment with, that we do. In, uh, in LTE in this year and uh, in the next uh, year and leveraging also in the very, very uh, fast uh, global ecosystem. Also in Italy we have a strong migration of device uh, from 2G, 3G toward LTE, in right. particular smartphone. And then we have to leverage on this in order to decommission into G and yeah. 3G, refarm bandwidth and also move uh, voice traffic and machine to machine traffic. Yeah. Uh, preparing uh, uh, the IoT wars uh, that come uh, that go toward the 5G, because I believe uh, in the um, uh, license spectrum. Then yeah. uh, we also have in place a tri uh, trial and also commercial uh, uh, overlay network with wireless and bus. We study LoRa, Sigfox, and the other solution. Yeah. But we strongly believe in our uh, IoT yeah. in order to acquire. Uh, uh, national coverage uh, just with the software upgrade of the uh, LTE network. I think that this will be a first big step toward uh, 5G, reusing uh, existing uh, uh, 800 LTE coverage. Brilliant. Okay, well that was fascinating. Thank you very much. 
So I was talking to Graziano from Tim. This is Scott, telecoms.com.